Hi guys, it's me again. So before I show you my massive little haul and my little-ish as the haul, um, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you um, to all you lovely people that have sent me all that coffee and my tips. And um, yeah, without that, I wouldn't have been able to able to buy this food to stock up my prepping pantry. So thank you thank you thank you um i just want to say a big yay to all my new subscribers and a big yay to all my old subscribers and a big yay to everybody that watches my channel thank you thank you thank you yeah so i'm not gonna waffle on we'll get straight into the hall but i just wanna oh gosh I'm just overwhelmed at the moment. All your lovely comments are oh, keep them coming, keeping me going, guys. Um, we're gonna get through this, we're gonna do it together. Um, I've got a bit of a mess going on because I've been busy crocheting. I've started crocheting again and I'm trying to get my Etsy shop up. I've um, just had a delivery of some new fabric. And um, I've also, I want to show these because they are so cute. I just, this is the thing, I make stuff and then I don't want to sell it because I think, oh, it's so cute. But I've been making these little pumpkin key rings. They're so gorgeous. Can you see them? And I put little eyes on them. How gorgeous does that look? I've got this little pink one here too. Little eyes, oh, so lovely. Um, so uh, yeah, these will be for sale on my Etsy shop. There's a reason I'm making these and um, I will tell you about it in a new video but I'm super excited just to show you them. And they, oh, they're so gorgeous, yay! Um, right, stop waffling. Um, here's the little haul for you. Hi guys, me again. So it's Wednesday today and that means food haul day yay um i've got to admit i absolutely love it when i go food shopping or have food shopping delivered it just makes me so happy makes me feel really calm oh yeah love it get so excited um ah oh, i'm my own worst enemy i know i am but um i just like to keep up to date on things and um i've been watching a couple of YouTube videos and I've um, I've watched this video of uh, an, a YouTuber last night it was a oh no it wasn't live last night I think he was live three days ago and I only saw it last night it came up on my newsfeed can't even remember his name anyway um, he's just lost his job and um, but he's been prepping for years and he was just talking with his dad on the sofa about stuff that he thinks is going to happen and like me he's telling people to get prepared and um, you know so yeah I love watching these things I want to be prepared but on the other hand sometimes it freaks me out a little bit and I start panicking again and I'm not going to panic I'm just going to be organised so I did my ASDA order last night and I went through it and they're only um, letting you have three items of most of the just essential stuff now which is fair enough um, because it's given everybody a chance then to get hold of it and then um, I watched something else to say oh because ASDA put their prices up Lidl haven't put their prices up yet and I was like oh brilliant okay so what I'll do is I'll just get a few bits from Asda and I'll go to Lidl and get most of the stuff there so it doesn't matter if this three limit stuff is on in Asda um, I can just go to Lidl tomorrow and get a load of stuff because I want stuff for my prepping pantry I have been um, topping it up every week uh, but we have been using a lot of it which is great which is great but we're using it a lot faster than I'm topping it up so um, last night got a little bit panicked after watching this YouTube video and everything so I thought right don't don't silly make a list go and get the stuff and um, I spent 55 pound in Lidl today oh I was only gonna spend 40 um, 
but as I was walking around I got a few extra bits and I thought with the prices going up um, we'll go anyway got to Lidl and they put the prices up oh sorry I thought that was my phone going yeah not as much as Asda but they've definitely put it up some things I'm kicking myself because I can get cheaper in Asda still even though with Asda putting their prices up sorry that was my phone um, yeah I, I'm kicking myself because I can get stuff cheaper in Asda than I could in Lidl some of the stuff in Lidl was a lot more expensive than what I could get in Asda but I will just put it down back on my list and order it next week from Asda instead I'm not going to stress but I have been having a think and um, I'm going to have to change the way I sharp um, and I think I know how I'm going to do it um, but I will do that in another video because this video is going to be massive as it is. Oh my gosh, I still will be here in a minute. They text me at 8 o'clock this morning to say they're on their way, and I thought, oh, I hope not. Got school run. Ah. Right, let me just check when Asda come in. I only had one cup of tea today as well, because I went straight after school, and I thought, oh, I don't want to be at one in a wee all the time. So I only had one cup of tea. Quarter to 12. Ah, 11 stops away. Half an hour, okay. Right, let me do these first because I can get them in the fridge. Um, they had a couple of yellow stickers stuff. Um, some of it I didn't get. They had some pork, but it was in um, some marinade that was quite spicy. We won't eat it. Even though it's reduced, there's no point if we're not going to eat it. And they also had some southern fried chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs reduced to £2 something. And yeah, we eat. Um, we eat southern fried chicken but it was literally there was like three drumsticks and three thighs and they all had the bone in and I don't know if my son would eat it if he had it in the bone on the bone and I just thought no don't get it there's no point I can get a whole packet of chicken drumsticks for £1.69 or two quid say full price so I didn't get it but I did get minted lamb burgers at £2.79 and um, they're the deluxe range and I got these massive jumbo pork sausages look at them we will only need one of them each and there is six twelve in the ace and I got them for uh, £2.69 I'm just going to chuck these in the fridge very strict with, my, with myself today because I'm going to change the way I shop and yeah very strict so oh loads of stuff um my dad ran out sugar and um, he knows I've got a stash of it anyway so I wanted, um, I gave him some sugar so I wanted to grab some more so granulated sugar 69p a pack I also got some dark brown soft sugar and um, some light brown soft sugar to do some baking with these were £1.39 each I got some vanilla flavouring because um, it's always to have handy to have and going to do a lot more baking so that was nice um, I think this was like 69p I got two baking powder 69p each and um, no sorry 59p each because I've had this flour ages now and I'm sure the self raising has gone out of my self raising flour or the raising agent has gone so I'm still going to use it I just add baking powder to make it rise Sultana's still 99p so I got a packet again and this will be to go with my new way of shopping and eating and my food plan and I got some apricots for how much were they? £1.9p because last Christmas when I try and do my stuffing couldn't get hold of any so yeah got some more apricots I wanted some walnuts they've gone up to £2.9p and I'm kicking myself um, because as I was looking at them, this um, lady, bless her, came up to me and she said, Oh, have you got the little app? And I said, Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, Are these on special offer? She said, Oh, no, there was 50% off them last week. <laughs> so I'll have to keep out an eye out on that. And, um, and uh, when they go on um, sale again, I will get some because um, I make that uh, apricot and walnut stuff in and it's gorgeous. And I don't need to eat as much meat while I'm eating that. Somebody said they're um, 
baked beans and baby sausages were cheaper in Lidl, they weren't, this was 42p a tin so I only grabbed one, I think they're the same as Aldi's peeled potatoes, the farmers have really struggled with the potatoes this year so there might be a shortage of potatoes but I absolutely am loving these, I know it's so lazy but they're so handy and so cheap 31p so these are cheaper than um asda at the moment do i keep on saying aldi's i mean asda sorry it's because i'm stressed and getting confused and sorry so if i've if i've said aldi i mean asda and i went shopping in lidl my landlord's trying to get hold of me for something and um and that's stressing me out a little bit as well Ugh. So anyway, um, I got four tins of peeled potatoes, one, two, three, four, five, five jars of the Korma cooking sauce because these are like 20, nearly 20p cheaper. These were 79p and, um, okay, well 16p, um, as does are 95p a jar. So I got five Korma sauce. Um, I um, went to buy that curry uh, powder mix that um, a lovely lady told me to go and try and I added it to my basket, yay, went to check out our stock. So I will try again, I will try again, I won't give up on it, no trying new stuff. Um, I also got these um, sausages because my son loves them and I hate them, they're disgusting. And they were, oh, the lamb burgers were meant to be three ninety nine, and those jumbo pork sausages three eighty five. So I got one pound twenty off the burgers and one pound sixteen off the sausages. And these I cannot find. Oh, there they are, folks. One pound seventy nine. Wow, I didn't think they were that expensive. I thought they were cheaper than that. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not so much of a bargain on the sausages, £1.79. Um, I've also got some coming from Asda as well. Um, I want to make a lasagna. I got some white sauce there. These were 59p each. Oh no, 69p each. The lasagna sauce, two of these, 69p each. Um, I just thought with the price of energy going up and milk going up, um, it might work out slightly cheaper and easier for me if um, I bought them like that so that's why I bought them like that. I got some more mackerel fillets so then I can do the mackerel pate, love it. Um, they were 69p each. Corned beef guys £1.79 it's gone up to. Oh, I can't remember the last time I bought that um, but yeah I got two tins £1.79 I'm sure it's like £1.25 last time I bought that. I want to do some ready meals, more ready meals, and I want to do corned beef hash. So I've got them. Got the sweet corn, 49p. They were sold out of nearly every just essential thing in Asda, which was a pain in the bum, um, because I really like the sweet corn now and it's cheaper, but I love this sweet corn. So got two tins, 49p. I got some mandarin segments, these have gone up to 55p so it looks like this will be the last time I buy these. I have been trying to buy the 49p ones from Asda, they might have even gone up because I've given it looking at them now. Um, tried to buy some from Asda and they just keep on sending me peaches so I've got tin peaches coming out my ears now. Um, so that's it, done. Um, unless I go into a shop to buy them, um, if they've gone up, I won't be buying any more. Yeah, so four, 55p a tin now from, they've got 6p. I got these peach halves. Oh, these are my favourite now then. These work out a lot more um, than the tinned peaches. And I think this tin was like £1 something. Was it £2? £1.35. So for a pack, the cheapest pack of peaches I could find uh, was in Asda and it was four for £1.49 and um, you get roughly the same in here but you're guaranteed they're sweet, they're ripe when you want to eat them. Years and years and years ago I went to Tenerife on holiday, oh my gosh, yeah, years ago, oh my goodness. 
I'm thinking it was it would be almost 20 years ago when I went maybe 18 years ago anyway um, I went to Tenerife and a full dessert always go all inclusive always always and they had these peach halves with a uh, strawberry angel delight on top of them oh and it was my favorite dessert they were gorgeous so I thought oh that'd be a nice treat um, peach halves and angel delight I think I've got some angel delight I'm sure I have I'm sure I bought some unless my son's used it we'll see uh, condensed milk 75p evaporated milk 55p as I just thought oh um, you know, if I run out of milk or anything like that, that'll do. Um, I got tomato puree because um, I needed some um, 39p each. They were 35p. I didn't get any tomatoes or tomato sauce or passata because I got all that lovely stuff from Farm Foods. Um, what else did I get? Oh, stuffing mix. I really wanted some stuffing mix. And this is... 35p in Lidl and I think it's still only 27p in Asda um, but I want to make a meatloaf so I thought by next week this stuffing might have gone up as well I don't know so I did get it sunflowers did I say no I don't think oh, I've got that much stuff sunflower seeds £1.39 again new way of eating new way of shopping got them uh, some more egg noodles. These are really nice actually. Really nice. They're not too thick either. So I've got two packets of them and they were 85p each. Um, rice, it's still 45p in Lidl so I'm glad I got that. It's gone up to 48p in Asda. Tried to get some spaghetti, cheap pasta. They haven't got any. Um, there's not even spaces on the shelves for them where they should be, where it's empty. They have just got none, so I don't know. I got some uh, chicken and vegetable kappa soup because I thought oh, if I was feeling cold and it wouldn't take me too long to heat, just boil some water. And I've got some kappa soup um, and they were... They were quite cheap actually, 45p each and there's four sachets in each box. Oh, I got some um, casserole mixes, 19p beef ones. I also got um, a chicken casserole one, 19p. And then I saw these Maggie's. These don't come with a bag and you have to add a few things to them but they're on special offer for 49p. So I've got two of them. I got some whole grain mustard because sprouts are coming into season soon, yay! And I can do my, um, oh, I'll have to keep an eye out for some cranberries. Mm. I had sprouts and cranberry salad with whole grain mustard and honey. Oh, gorgeous. Um, so I got that and that was 49p. Yeah, 49p. Ibuprofen, 39 Do you know, I buy ibuprofen every single week nearly. Every every time I see it, I get them. Paracetamol, ibuprofen. I haven't bought ibu, uh, paracetamol for ages because ibuprofen is the kind of pain tablet I take. I was sorted out my cupboard the other day and I've got packets and packets of paracetamol, but no ibuprofen. I don't know where they've gone. So anyway, I got another one of them for 39p and then I didn't get any milk from Asda because I've got a load in the fridge and I thought, I don't need any. And then my dad phoned last night, oh, have you got any milk? <laughs> I've run out. <laughs> so um, I gave him a load of milk. Uh, but I still got some. Um, so I thought, right, I'll grab some milk today. And um, they didn't have any four pints of blue milk. They only had the semi-skimmed, which is the green milk. So I got this two pints for pound fifteen which I can make easily into three pints so with what I've got that'll be enough that'll be enough for the whole week ah oh, right then um oh also got some bean sprouts 95p I am gonna I don't think I've got I have to I'm gonna grow my own mung beans again uh, my own bean sprouts from mung beans again um I think uh, the last lot of mung beans I had them for years and I just don't think they were any good they weren't sprouting 
so I need to get some fresh mung beans but um, Lidl don't sell them and I didn't go anywhere else today um, but I will keep my eye out now for some mung beans um, I should have got some from Asda last night but it, it was still going round in my head Ugh, I didn't get to sleep till silly o'clock but I'm not stressing I'm not stressing I just need to work stuff out so to keep me calm so I've got some bean sprouts The um, PG Tips, Tetley's, Thai food, those kind of tea bags I go for, I usually buy 240 tea bags for £3. They didn't have any on offer. The cheapest ones they had were £3.95, which I'm not paying. Um, they didn't have any of the big Tetley's, 440 tea bags. They did have some, maybe it was Tetley's, but they were those one cup bags and I don't like them and they were a waste of money for me um, so I don't buy them um, so I got two boxes I think of Asda's own tea because I like that um, so I'll show you that when Asda come but I thought I'd try these Lidl's red label tea bags new blend um, 240 and it was £1.95 so I hope I like these I hope I like them. So we've got some black bags and they were, anyway, um, they're a lot cheaper than Asda. The quality and the size of them, um, you pay like £2.53 in Asda, so yeah, bargain from Lidl. And they're not, they're not thin, they don't rip, so that's good. Right then, um, I wanted some washing up sponges and I completely forgot to get them from Asda. So I got these ones, I've spent a little bit more on them. I usually get Asda's essential ones. They last two days and they're no good. So hopefully if I spend a little bit more, they will last a little bit longer. And they were 72p for six. Then I got some um, super concentrated washing liquid. I thought I'd try this. It smells really nice. And that was £1.79. Then I bought a load of shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Um, I need to put conditioner in my hair because it's so frizzy. Yeah, and I use loads of it. I use loads of conditioner. I shouldn't, but I use loads of it. It doesn't matter if it's cheap or really expensive conditioner. I still use loads. So I tend to buy the cheaper one. Um, so then I don't feel too guilty about using loads. Um, but they didn't have any of the raspberry shampoo. So I got apple, coconut and lychee and raspberry. And these were 55p each. So I got all them. And then... Um, Every now and then, um, I just think, oh, I want something nice for my hair. I want to buy really expensive shampoo and conditioner. And or I'll put it on my shopping list for Christmas, you know, or my Christmas list or birthday. Um, anyway, I saw these and I thought I'm going to buy them. And they look like the Aussie shampoo. They're called Australian shampoo and conditioner. They look, and these were 99p each. And one is for colour because I colour my hair and uh, mega volume conditioner because it's falling out so much um, I like to give it a bit of oomph even though I just tie it up all the time at the moment because it's falling out so much um, and then I got some roller they did have some for 99p but I thought you know what I'm going to try this 69p and I think as this here nope work back yay phew Oh my goodness, yes, so I spent £55.74p. And, um, and what did I get? £2.36 on um, discount uh, with the uh, burger and sausages. I didn't get anything on my little app today. They do some random stuff on that, you know. Really random. But blinking nuts, and I needed nuts this week. It was on last week. Oh. Right, go put this away and then I'll be back when Asda come. Okay, so I was uh, just making a cup of tea and Asda's turned up. So I'll I'll do that now. Um, and I was also filming a little bit 
um, about how it's going to change my shopping habits. Right, so I bought two litres of bleach. I always buy the thick bleach. I don't even entertain the thin bleach. But it was 42p um, for two litres. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Because we've just got to save money everywhere, haven't we? And, um, yeah, I water it down anyway and put it in a spray bottle. So maybe I just won't water it down as much. But we'll see. Um, here's the tea bags, two boxes of tea bags. They were um, £2.50 for 240 tea bags. So I'm well stocked up on tea bags now. I've just made a cup of tea with that red label tea bags and they're okay. They're okay, they're not bad at all. So I can, you know, they're not as tea tasting as, um, as the other tea bags I have. But I thought if I mix them up, you know, I won't really tell what's what. I got a massive bag of pasta. We love the uh, 20p pasta or 23p pasta now, the penne pasta. But um, oh, the twisty pasta is my son's favourite. Favourite. And um, I thought before the prices go up again, I'm just going to get a bag. Um, and I got three kilograms and um, that worked out cheaper than what I could get it in Lidl. So then I got three tins of new potatoes because that's all it would let me do. But it let me have five tins of carrots. These were 23p each. So I got five tins of them. Um, I got a white lasagna sauce. Um, I can't remember the price of... 69p in Lidl and it's 75p in Asda so 6p more expensive in Asda but they have put their prices up so yeah white sauce and um, I got a bar of milk chocolate for 33p honey is 79p um, but it's always handy to have these are the hot dogs that I got from Asda and they are way bigger than the ones from Lidl so I'm a little bit gutted about the ones from Lidl because they were £1.79. These though are £2 something as they are £2.30 these are so they're 50p uh, more expensive but look at the size of them, huge. If you've only got £1.80 then the ones from uh, Lidl are quite handy to have. I went to Lidl's as well to get some butter because somebody said they're still the cheapest, £1.75. And um, as they put their cheapest um, salt butter, the best butter, up to £2 now. But they didn't have any in stock when I went to Lidl this morning. And you know what? I thought, why am I, why am I eating salted butter? Why am I even entertaining looking for salted butter? It's crazy. That's an absolute luxury you know that's a luxury and this is what I mean about me changing the way I shop now I've got to stop it I've got to stop it you know that is an absolute luxury and unless it's on special offer or I get it in a too good to go bag we're not having it there's nothing wrong with the clover butter we have and if my son wants it a little bit salty I'll add some salt into it or I'll just keep a lookout for some reduced cream and make our own the oil prices still absolutely crazy but somebody said in the new year it looks like the oil prices are coming down the cooking oil so I'm still buying lard 42p these were the same in Lidl and I'd already ordered them off Asda so I didn't get any in Lidl but they're 42p a pack um, ibuprofen 39p hot dogs honey um, these are my son's favourite cookies in the whole wide world these chocolate chip ones and the 39p a bag so I've got them uh, got some grapes because my dad wanted some so they were two for two pound um, for 400 grams oh, then I ordered a tin opener because I've only got one and I thought oh my gosh if that breaks what am I going to open the tin with so I thought I'll order just a cheap one just one like that I find these are the best ones you can get ordered one 50p great 
they sent me this mammoth one can opener still only paid 50p for it but I don't like them and then I realised they did this to me last time I tried to order a can opener last time and they sent me one of these so I've got two of these now anyway it'll make a great Christmas present for somebody um, and I ordered some instant custard I absolutely love this stuff it's eight you just add water it's 19p and it can make like half a pint it said uh, three servings oh no sorry three quarters of a pint but I make it to half a pint because I just think it's a little bit too watered down at three quarters of a pint um, but if you want to make it stretch further that's fine um, but yeah I usually make half a pint and um, they let me have five of these and then I got my first of the chocolate for Christmas and the reason I got these, these were £4 a tub, but if you have as the rewards, you get a pound back. So this tub was only £3, and I've got to hide this because otherwise I will eat it. There's no way it'll last till Christmas, so I will hide that underneath the bed with the rest of the food at this point. And then um, I bought a bag of pears and a bag of parsnips. The pears were 49p or 43p and the parsnips were 60p because I'm going to be making some pear and parsnip soup to go in the freezer. Lovely. Yes, and so this is another thing now. This will be the kind of the last of the stuff that we fancy, that we kind of want. And from on, now on, we or I am just going to be buying what we need. My son's going to do that five pound challenge, he will do that. Um, but yeah, after that, this is what I mean about my shopping changing. It's going to have to change because I can't afford to shop like this anymore. All this stuff is stuff that we fancy rather than what we need. We don't need the way I'm going to do that is by shopping too good to go and Oreo, um, definitely yellow stickers all the way it's getting a little bit harder to find them now because everybody's in the same boat everybody's um, feeling it now and once October comes definitely gonna feel it um, so yeah the pears not too bad because they're the cheapest that I can get fruit wise um, and pence per gram yeah I'm thinking the way forward for us is for me to go get the too good to go bags and just try and survive off them and um, we'll just you know not have to be so fussy and just change the way we eat basically um, the way I kind of do it now is I've got a list of really cheap meals in my head and then um, I do like um, a shopping list of what we want to eat um, that week and um, I go and buy it um, you know they're really cheap meals they're really cheap meals but what I'm going to have to change is I'm going to have to get creative and make meals with food that I can get from the magic bags and Oleo or the reduced stuff so today like um, I went into Lidl and I looked at all the meat and everything and I thought oh Yes, I want I want half a crispy duck. I want the spatchcock chicken with garlic and herbs. Did I get it? No, because I that's that's something that we can't afford. I'm gonna to have to change it. So I ended up getting the sausages um, and the burgers. That bur those burgers really were um, a luxury, um, and I wouldn't have got them if they weren't yellow stickers. But you know that's got that's got to change now that's got to change but it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing I'm looking at it as a challenge you know that I can do this that I can get these stuff from um, I had some amazing bags from uh, go Puff last last Friday I got three bags I haven't done them haven't done the video um, and a lot of the food now I'd prepped put in the freezer but I got so much stuff from those three bags and it had aubergines in it and peppers and I've got halloumi in the fridge so I can make my favourite burgers, you know? Oh, and I'm 
just by getting these magic bags we're still going to be eating really really good um, we just won't have a choice as such what we want to eat we'll have a choice once we get the bags and know what's in it um, we just yeah we won't actually have the choices saying oh I fancy a steak tonight um, we won't be having steak I didn't get any steak in the bags didn't get any steak this time but I got mince and I got um, I got black pudding which I do not like um, but my dad does and my son wants to try it so that's great I would I would never buy it otherwise and so that's a great opportunity um, I gave some to my elderly neighbours over the road because I actually ended up with four packets of it I got loads of fruit veg bread oh my gosh I got loaves I got muffins I got bagels oh uh, hot dog rolls loads it's all gone in the freezer so my freezers at the moment are absolutely chocker got all this food so I'm thinking now next Wednesday I won't be getting anything from Asda yeah we'll just be going off the magic bags from now on which we still eat so good because uh, the magic bags around here are absolutely amazing amazing Right, what time is it now? Quarter to one. Right, I've waffled on enough. Um, I don't even know how much I've spent in Asda today. I will leave that in the comments. I'll put this away. It's really warm still. Really warm, which is nice. And then um, uh, we're going to a trampoline park after school. I want to try and get some dinner. Oh, I forgot. I got one of these candles for £3 as well. This is an apple cinnamon. Um, and that's one of the big ones so I thought I'd get it now while the price is still cheap because as they're a cheaper and and it was on the star buy as well so I got 10% back so we got 30p as well so it's £2.70 for that big candle and and these burn for about 85 hours I think it said I'm sure it said 85 hours yeah 85 hours for £3 well £2.70 brilliant right then so um, I found one of my old lists for um, ready meals for the freezer and I've got on here pasta, meatballs and pasta, pasta bake, curry and rice stew, pear and parsnip soup, fried rice, roast dinner, lasagna, sausage casserole, corned beef hash and meatloaf. So you can see from what I've got today and from what I've got to Lidl, I am basing it on this as well so I can get that freezer stocked up with ready meals because um, the ready meals I made <laughs> the, other, um, the other week, they, a lot of them are gone. So I had my niece and nephew over. Um, I've been eating them as well because we've just been really, really busy and it's great just grabbing them and um, five minutes and I've got a meal on the table. It's, oh, loving it. And of course, my son's been taking them to school every day. So yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> make some more so then he has a choice of what he wants to take in as well and he has a bit more of a choice in the evening um as an evening meal as well oh i can't wait to have some pear and parsnip soup then oh love it my favorite right i'm gonna put this away um i'll have to go under the bed and um take care and i will see you all soon bye